Well, I was, I grew up during the uh, Jim Crow era. Segregation was all through Virginia in the South. And the uh, Ku Klux Klan was doing its, its uh, bid. That was a real scary thing. That was what was going on when I was growing up. So this was um, during the uh, period uh, during and after World War II. And I went to the segregated uh, schools there and I swore I would leave Virginia and never return. Uh, the case of Brown against Board of Education had finally reached the uh, Supreme Court. So somehow my professor, uh, his name was Alexander Walker, he got us tickets to uh, see that argument. And I was there. Uh, Clarence had a rare opportunity to be right next to incredible history. In 1953, I think through a connection with uh, uh, then attorney Thurgood Marshall, he went to the arguments of Brown versus Board of Education at the Supreme Court. And he saw the etchings on the building that says equal justice under the law. And he knew then, then that it, must, it didn't stand for poor and blacks, but he was dedicated to make sure that it would. Virginia has changed very substantially, of course, in the last uh, 50 plus years. Uh, through the Virginia State Bar, uh, we've worked uh, to improve justice for everyone and uh, the pro bono uh, services are available for uh, people far uh, more so than they were. Well, you know, many times people think of lawyers representing one side or just their clients or sometimes in a very narrow focus, but the image that he presents so beautifully is the one of pro bono, literally, for the good of the public. And that is uh, selfishly, uh, unselfishly, I should say, uh, dedicating his services and his efforts for those who can't uh, afford a lawyer and making sure that uh, society is making sure that happens. Well, I, I think that all lawyers, I feel, are or should be citizen lawyers. And to me, that means that uh, there has to be a fair system of justice. I think the, the biggest change is that his efforts in diversity. Uh, he uh, works with the uh, Diversity Conference of the Virginia Bar. As a matter of fact, he was the first person to be recipient of that award and it's named for him now. Many uh, people of color and women are representing, have been represented in the practice on the bench. And I probably wouldn't be on the bench myself had it not been for efforts to diversify the practice and the bench and to reflect all of the wonderful people that uh, this country have has to uh, represent the judicial system. I think the Virginia Law Foundation is a great, great uh, organization for lawyers to be involved in. It's an honor and a privilege, and I'm very humbled by it, uh, but uh, there's more that could be done and that I could do. He's seen history so close up, but more importantly, it never left him with bitterness. Instead, it gave him a resolve that we can be, be better as a people and must be better. So he dedicated, he didn't curse the dark, he lit a candle. And because of that light uh, that he lit, many people see the light of justice and opportunity and access, pro bono work, and through his namesake, uh, promote diversity. And that's a whole lot for any human being to contribute to a profession and to a people.